Welcome back to yet another edition of Dante's Mean Streets of Gadgets and Card Review, Preview, whatever you want to call it. It's coming out December 1st, 2016, and I'm here, ready to preview it for you, every card. But now I've been going through everything, and now I'm going through Warrior. That's right, Warrior. Here we go. One mana spell. I know a guy. Discover a taunt minion. Pretty cool. Um, if it was discover a taunt minion and like add plus one plus one or something like that, I think this card would be used. Right now, I think this card in constructed will never ever see ever play ever. But I think in arena, this card is okay. I think if you play this on like turn one, if because generally a lot of people don't have a turn one play, this card's pretty good. I like it. I like it in arena. I think it's pretty good in arena. I think in constructed will never see play ever. Get out of my life. Ah, next up, two mana, zero, seven, taunt. My man's called the Public Defender. And he blocks with, like, suitcases? What the hell is he doing? This card, I don't know. I don't see how this card fits in Constructed. It's Demented. Uh, one thing that's interesting about this that is also confusing... Is if you're going to play this card, why wouldn't you just play Doomsayer, which would then wipe out your opponent's cards? Assuming that's why you'd be using it early on. If you're using this later on, I think it's just a wasted card. In Constructed, I don't understand it at all. And in Arena, it's confusing. I think it's pretty bad. I don't get it. Because they're just going to keep building a board. And whatever you play next is just going to die from... I don't know. I think this card will never ever see play in a uh, constructed an arena. It's confusing why you'd pick it. It is common. I don't know. I think this card is bad. I'm not seeing what, what can utilize this. I, I don't get it. Next up, we have Grimy Gadget Seer. Gadget, Gadget Tier? 4 mana, 4, 3. At the end of your turn, give a random minion in your hand. Plus 2, plus 2. Uh, at least it's an immediate effect, something you'll get automatically. I don't like that it's not even like a mech. It's like they just got rid of mechs. Like, what's the deal? Mech synergy is just dead. Are there even any mechs in this? There should be one. Damn. Um, is it worth it? Four mana, four, three. Not very good. I don't think this will see constructive play at all. I think this card is okay in arena. Because, I mean, generally you're going to have another minion in your hand. But it's not that great still. I mean, there's probably a lot of other things you want to pick over this that's quicker, faster, slightly more health. So, yeah, I think this is underwhelming at best. Next up, we have two mana rare. Give a random taunt minion in your hand. Plus three. Plus three. So you can have a 310. Pretty intense, but I don't know. I just don't, I don't see this. <clears throat> They're really pushing the warrior taunt, and it's just not happening. This guy does look awesome, though. <laughs> uh, I don't think this card will see play. There's just not enough taunt action happening for this to really be utilized well. So, it sucks in Constructed, and it's pretty bad. Pretty damn bad in Arena. I don't get it. Next up, we have a 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Battlecry, give a random weapon in your hand. Plus 1, plus 1 interesting so it's got to be in your hand and gives a plus one plus one very powerful effect by the way but it's got to be in your hand hmm. not even a pirate grim street pawnbroker is this good i don't think it'll see construct and play at all but in arena this can really break a game wide open but then if you had a weapon, wouldn't you use it already? But then there's Death Spite. So do you add a 5-3? I don't know. I think this card's pretty good in Arena, actually. And if, if you get the Battle Cry, this card is out of hand. It's absurd. Uh, it won't be using Constructed, though. I, I don't see how it would be. That's... Well, I can't say that because there is like a sort of Speed Warrior, Speed Pirate Warrior. But still, that that's rough. You, you have to have pretty good cards in a row for that. And it's not a pirate. Next up, five mana, two seven taunt. Whenever this minion deals damage, gain that much in armor. So this is interesting. Um, where does this fit? 
might fit in a lot of control decks because sometimes getting that one or two extra turns that's all you need to sort of clear the board come back and get your health back a little bit get your armor so chances are you're going to because it's deals damage not attacks you're probably going to get at least four armor from this guessing at least four so something hits it for four some hits it for three and you're dealing damage to that you're, you're not getting hit for seven so it's almost like healing for nine in a sense or healing for 11 actually so a five mana it is a taunt this one is tough i i don't think this will be in tournament constructed but i can see it being utilized on the ladder decently maybe tier three four probably three yeah as far as arena i think this card is i think it's a little bit less than okay i mean the, the issue is it's not killing anything it's just sort of saving your health so it all depends on your deck but removal is really hard to come by in arena so i think it's less than okay in arena and constructed when your deck is basically set up the way you want i think it, it can be all right Next up, we have two mana. Sleep with the fishes. Deal three damage to all damaged minions. Interesting. This is hilarious. <laughs> I gotta say, this card art is one of my favorites. Because it's like, this murloc, who's a fish, is tied up and thrown in the water with his feet in concrete. And he's like, what? I was like, I can breathe. I like it. Pretty funny. Sleep with the fishes, deal three damage to all damage minions. So basically, this is like a combo card. This is like Whirlwind or uh, what is that? War Worgen guy? Ravage? I forgot the hell his name. The one that does one damage to everybody. And then you use this. So you basically essentially have a two card, either three mana or five mana flame strike. And it can hit your own minions. I don't know if this is good. I don't. This one's tough. <clears throat> this one is tough. I think this is... I don't think this works, because... If it kills your own minions... Are you only using this for removal? Maybe that is enough. For some of the decks. Maybe that's just enough so that... Warrior can't get... Like, out-damaged early on against some of the aggressive decks. I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it is. This one, I'm unclear on. I mean, in certain applications, obviously, it's amazing. But yeah, it's almost a two-card combo you have to get with this. So, I don't think it's going to see Constructed. It could be wrong. And as far as Arena, I think this card is really bad in Arena. Because you have to have the combo, basically. You almost have to have it. So, that that's why this sucks in Arena. And then, lastly, for the weapons... We have four mana, two, three, brass knuckles. After your hero attacks, give a random minion in your hand, plus one, plus one. So you're giving random minions plus three, plus three. Uh, overall, four mana, two, three. This will never be constructed play, ever. And if this sees arena play, I will be shocked. Too much mana. This costs way too much mana. Four mana. If it was three mana, you might see it. You might see it in Arena. <laughs> Even if this was two mana, you probably wouldn't see this in Constructed. That's how weird Constructed is. It, this would be awesome in two mana in Arena. I think it'd be okay to good in Arena if it's three mana. Four mana, I think it's bad. I actually think this is bad in Arena for four mana. Uh, that's just me. I maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I I just don't. I think it's too slow. It doesn't do enough damage. Four mana. Everything basically th two and a half mana and up has more than three health. So I don't get it. <clears throat> You're wasting a turn. I think. Yeah, that's just me. And then we have for the legendary. Finally, Obart Grapple Hammer. Battle Cry. It's a two two two. Battle cry, give all weapons in your hand and deck. Plus one attack. I think this card is awesome. 
Um, I think this card isn't an auto include in every warrior deck. Some control decks can deal without this. Uh, but I think in just about every other one, this is, you want to have this card. Because this card is awesome. Um, you can make your Fiery War Axe a four damage weapon, which is a huge difference, surprisingly. And you can even get one more durability on your Gorehal. So for aggressive decks, this is an auto include. For a lot of other decks, this is an include. For some control, it might not be. I like this card a lot. I think this card's good. I think you will see this. Certain decks. In Arena, 2 mana 2-2 two, two is not the worst. If you have weapons, this card is spectacular. So, <clears throat> it's not terrible in Arena. If you have, obviously, weapons. If you have no weapons, this card sucks. Like, why would you pick it? But, even if this procs on one weapon and you that you eventually get, worth it. It really is. It's a pretty damn good card. I like it. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about these cards. And I will be back. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me.